Out here at five Pasco County teachers rallied this morning to move learning from the classroom to online at the start of next semester. Good evening everyone. I'm Jameson Dueller anchoring from home tonight. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. And with just weeks to go, ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell shares why some teachers are afraid to go back to the classroom during this pandemic. Nobody's life is worth going back brick and mortar right now. Dozens of teachers lined the road in Pasco County ahead of a school board meeting, pleading for the district to go to distance learning only when school starts at the end of the month. It's not even that I don't want to risk my life for them. I don't want them to get sick and risk their own lives or their families' lives. <laughs> If I had to put it in one word, I would say scared. United School employees of Pasco said it will seek an injunction to prevent schools from opening for safety and health reasons. Teachers shared it's all about going back to school safely. We can prepare for things like active shooters and for our students to have medical episodes in the classroom. We're prepared for those things, but what we can't be prepared for is um, something like this that we can't control. Pasco County School Superintendent Kurt Browning says they put measures in place for a safe return, like more deep cleaning and mask requirements. But he explains they need to follow an emergency order to open. It ties funding to that. So if you don't open bricks and mortar, then you will not get your funding. And I think the disconnect has been they don't understand that if we don't get the funding, then teachers don't get paid. Teachers here set a benchmark of what numbers they'd like to see to feel safe to move from online to brick and mortar learning. They tell me they want a 14 day average of less than 5% positivity rate in the area. In Pasco County, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.